Hi everybody, Vicki here again. It is still September the 3rd, Saturday night, and the time here is 11.40 p.m. Now, when you have the opportunity, please watch the live chat that I uh, did. Um, it was called Take Three, okay? And I was talking about a lot of these techie problems that are starting to happen. The rise of the machines, okay? Now, what a time to be alive, amen? I swear if I'm getting that stupid prompter thing again, I'm going to go off. Give me a second. Give me a sec. Okay. Anyway. Now, please watch that, okay? Um... I was given quite a bit of information there, and it kept telling me I had connectivity problems, that it was unstable. No, there's nothing wrong with my secured Wi-Fi at my home, okay? Um, I did a check on it last night. But I wanted to tell you about the crazy story that happened to my husband last night, okay? About 7.30 p.m., okay? He was on his computer, and all he was doing was looking at some uh, Dallas Cowboy, Dallas Cowboy fans, um, some stats, some score things, whatever, and he clicked on something, and he has the same, a little bit higher up one, uh, laptop provider, MS, okay, the soft, the teeny soft, by the capital G, capital A, capital T, capital E, capital S, person, okay, and all of the sudden, all these windows started uh, popping up, okay, uh, blue windows with encryptions and uh, security, windows security alert, and the computer actually started talking and saying, this is a high security alert. Please do not shut off your computer at this time. Call uh, the helpline immediately. Okay. Well, my husband's like, "What's happening? You know what? You know what do I? You know I don't know what to do." And it just kept saying it out loud. You know, this is a high security risk. Do not shut off your computer. Do not restart your computer, okay? And it said, call the help desk now, okay? He called. Now, you know as well as I know, I don't care who it is or what it's about. You call anybody with a corporation, okay? You're going to get... Something like, I'm sorry, all of our operators are busy at this time. Your wait is approximately infinite amount of time, okay? Or it could say, well, you're number 25 in line, so just wait and listen to our elevator music, okay? No. He calls this number and immediately 
someone answered the phone. Immediately. They had control over his computer, okay? And they started to, I mean, I was watching something and he was kind of off the side but I heard bits and pieces where, you know, the guy, um, foreign accent, okay? Uh, he'd been hacked is what happened. But this, you know, call this number immediately, you know, we'll take care of everything type deal. Um, yeah, they wanted him to give them a MasterCard or Visa to unlock his computer, but they were actually in his computer. You could see the screens moving around and things of that nature, okay? And they wanted him to pay anywhere from like $260 up to like $659 to unlock his computer and put some sort of security software on a computer that already has security software. I just sat over here, I was like, hang up the phone. <laughs> He's going to take it to work and have their tech at work unlock it for him because it's happened to him at work before on his personal work computer. So there's that. But anyway, like I was saying, you got to see take three, live chat, okay? Because um, now I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm sitting back now, you know, trying to stay calm, cool, and collected <laughs> because I was getting sick and tired of it, okay, from being buffered and told, oh, no, 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 and, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, by the time to be alive, amen, no truth allowed, the beast only allows lies, confusion, kill, steal, destroy all who come against the capital N, capital W, capital O. Yeah. But I was about to tell a story about all of this smart technology. That's why you need to watch the other. Um, you know, from the things that we had spoken of. Um, okay. You know, many people have these uh, smart devices, whether they're little, the little cones that you talk to, they have smart locks and windows, okay, on their doors. Uh, they have security systems inside of their home, okay. Um, that would give an alert to an app on your phone to let you know that you have thieves inside your home and it will call the police for you automatically or whatever, or you can do it when your phone starts going off. But think about this. You have smart locks on your doors and your windows, okay? Um, AI, you know, in whenever the capital W, capital H, capital O deems that uh, some area, okay, is high risk potential for what Ever they deem as a high risk potential, they can just 
program that lock to lock those locks to lock and you will not be able to get out of your home okay you say Vicki that sounds kind of creepy really technology is so far advanced at this point it's mind-boggling but I wanted to tell of a movie that I had seen like way back I want to say it was either in the early 70s uh, it was made in the early 70s to mid 70s okay and Ed Asner played in it and I cannot remember the name of the movie um, I happened to catch it I don't know maybe I have no idea many many years ago I just happened to catch it and I, I watched it and it was um, a movie about a futuristic home of the future and we're talking about this movie was made in early to mid 70s okay and it had all this smart technology in it okay uh, you could say turn the lights on and the lights would come on you know which people have that now okay that's the creepy thing okay telling Alex with the A on the end of it you know turn on my lights turn on my music turn on my television uh, lock my doors turn on this do that do okay well anywho I digress in the movie okay these people that had this futuristic type home you know um, where they just talked and you know things would come on move you know whatever and it ended up turning on them and lock them inside their home they could not get out it was a married couple you know um they could not get out it had control over their phone hello it had control over their computer and it would come on you know back then had them old clunky computers remember the what CRT types or whatever you know um, big box heavy heavy ones you know and this technology had come alive and it when they would try to get on their computer you know to dial up because back then it was dial up beep, 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 you know to be able to get on the net okay um, AI would come on their you know it was all green screen uh, numbers and letters you know um, and it came on there and said what do you think you're doing you know I'm just you know I don't remember for you know I'm just letting you know what it was like you know what do you think you're doing I've got you locked in here you're not going anywhere you have no control over anything unless I say so and we're here it's 2022 y'all it's insane it, it really is but I digress now we're gonna get into some news because like I said in take three in the live chat I ain't never gonna quit I'm never gonna stop I am always going to tell the truth for as long as I have a voice obviously the Lord Jesus Christ is about to take us up out of here hallelujah praise the Lord um, but I had shared 
and I would like to encourage you to read Proverbs chapter 2 and uh, 3. Uh, the spawn of Satan's speech. Yeah, I am quite certain that every one of you have heard it, seen the backdrop of it. Um, how does one who supposedly stands for uniting all Americans um, come out with that plethora of wickedness. Full demon mode. Okay? That's what that is. Um, and pretty much the way I see it, um, I, I honestly believe uh, we're going to start seeing more of the same nonsense that we saw before, especially in your big cities that are run by... The other side, the Luciferian Illuminati, uh, Freemasonry, the Bilderbergs, on and the Soros, the all of them. Okay. Um, the capital B, capital L, capital M. Yeah. They thought it would be a good idea to threaten, yeah, the biker gang, the Hells Angels. Yeah, like a sister in Christ said, you know what, I'd probably pay a ticket to see that. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, or no, wait, I take that back. It was the capital Ants with the EFA. Yeah, um, that thought it'd be a good idea to threaten the Hells Angels bike biker group, okay? And um, there's a lot of prophetic things happening, and we had talked about this. A while back, and since I've got it up here, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. Now, in Daniel 7, okay, the main players it are the United Kingdom, Britain, France, Russia, and we've already, de you know, determined that the leopard is India. Okay. Now, we had spoken about this here not too far, not too long ago, how Israel sold, I believe it was either $1.1 billion or $1.3 billion. They sold Hoffa port to India. Okay? All right. And then we know that the players of the Ezekiel 38 war, okay, coming against Israel, is Turkey, Iran, Russia, Libya, and the Sudan slash Ethiopia. Okay, that, that, but I also believe that part of their hordes could very well be the Daniel 7 players. Okay, how do I get there? Because India 
has been doing business all along with Russia. And now they are the owners of Hoffa Port. And today, Turkey, for the first time in I don't know how long, maybe ever, pulled in a warship into Hoffa Port, Israel. Okay. Erdogan is threatening war with Greece over what he claims is uh, disputed territory islands of Greece from back in 1922, okay? And remember, Erdogan had the name changed of Turkey to like Turkey. I can't even say it because it's ridiculous. To its former name in 1923. It's like Turkey or something like that or Turkey. Okay. Um, so. We know for President Macroni, Macaroni, okay, unprecedented, but we're going to get into some news now, but I wanted to bring up those tidbits. It just got switched on me. That's all good. I can roll till the cows come home. Amen. Um. But I do want to encourage each and every one of you to watch what we talked about in the Take 3 uh, video, okay? I think it's about 45 minutes long. Um, let's see, where am I? Okay, we're getting close. Um, hold on. It's crying out loud. A lot's happened in three days, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Let's start here. Germany will expand its military presence in the Indo-Pacific by sending more warships and joining drills with allies as it keeps an eye on the enormous buildup of China's armed forces. The German defense chief says okay and our unelected yeah that's what i said jabama he keeps you know sending i believe now it's 1.3 billion dollars now in aid to Taiwan for military. Yeah. Loosening all of ours, defunding the police, defunding our military, treating us like we're dirt, scum of the earth. Um, you know what? The Lord's going to take care of that. You best be believing that. 
Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 6, verse 3, And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Amen. Australian naval officers will be allowed to train inside British submarines for the first time as they prepare for the arrival of nuclear-powered subs as part of a new security partnership with Britain and the U.S. Remember Britain, Daniel 7, and Obama is coming against, because, you know, we're back, you know, Iran's in his hip pocket, okay? All the nations will come against the Holy Land. It's written that way, and we're going home. Hallelujah. Don't know when it's going to happen. Nobody knows the day nor the hour, but we do know the season, and this is going to be a September to remember for all the ages. Yeah, I believe that, and I'm waiting, and I can hardly wait to be with each and every one of you. <clears throat> hardly wait to see Jesus. It's going to be so awesome. Lebanon, yeah, President Mikhail... Aoun returns to Parliament and amending banking secrecy law that lawmakers passed around a month ago. It needs some further tweaks to strengthen it. Banking secrecy. One world currency, anybody? In the Sudan, one of the Ezekiel 38 players, security forces, they're really under martial law, okay? Killed a protester, medics say, when thousands call, uh, rallied in the capital of Khartoum the previous day against military rule, that is martial law, okay? You better not be caught out on the streets when you're told you can't be out on the streets or we're just going to kill you. Palestinian media reported said two uh, were killed in clashes with IDF troops during, this was from three days ago after I had done the video that day. This came out later on. Uh... Two were killed in clashes with IDF troops during overnight raids in the West Bank. One in Al Barer near Ramallah and the second in the uh, Balata refugee camp near Nablus. Okay, they're still going in there. And I'm telling you right now on the blue bird chirp chirp, people are standing up for Palestinians. So, we stand strong no matter what. And if we hear this nonsense, we know the truth, okay? And when asked about it, we will stand for the Jewish people and the Jewish nation. Our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. God in the flesh fully Jewish from the tribe of Judah, from the line of Melchizedek. Amen? Amen. Now, remember the Pakistan floods. They had more floods. 
okay? Surges of water from the Indus River, uh, compounding more devastation uh, in a country, a third of which is already inundated by disaster bla blamed on Klache. Now, Pakistan before these floods occurred, okay? Now, we know they've already weaponized the weather, okay? And they sell it to other countries for big bucks, okay? Um, but Pakistan, they were trying to get uh, a loan, okay? Just like Lebanon is trying to get a loan from the International uh, Monetary Fund, the IMF. And when Pakistan did it, and Lebanon as well, um, but for Pakistan right now, since now all of a sudden they had these massive floods, you know, we talked about it, it's horrific. Um, now they decided. Yeah, we'll 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 give you, you know, a ton of money because what's going to happen? It's a poor place. They're not going to be able to pay back these high amounts of interest and then they take away your land. Then um once again, there was a, sh a, a ship, a container ship, an uh, Egyptian container ship that couldn't make it up the Suez Canal and got stuck. But it managed to free itself and didn't block it for like days. I think the last time it was like a week, maybe longer. But it's, you know, it's just crazy. Now listen to this. This was two days ago. An oligarch, Russian oligarch, Ravil Maganov, chairman of the Russian oil producer Lukoil, killed in a fall from a window at a Moscow hospital. That is not an accident. And when the former president, uh, Mikhail Gorbachev, Gorbachev uh, passed away at 91, Putin refused to go to his funeral. Unreal, right? An Israeli missile was launched from an Indian aircraft carrier for the first time ever, India. UN renews mandate of peacekeeping force in buffer zone between Lebanon and Israel. Now we've talked about the UNIFIL. Okay, before, they aren't into making peace deals. They say peace, but they mean war. Because of the gas rig, okay, and even Obama's coming out and, you know, standing pretty much for Lebanon on this. Why? because it's a tentacle of Iran. China and Russia's reluctance to toughen UN sanctions on North Korea, the biggest challenge facing international efforts to eliminate the North, the Norse nuclear arsenal, a top South Korean office official said. 
A bipartisan group of 50 U.S. lawmakers sends a letter to Obama demanding to see the text of any nuclear deal with Iran before it's signed. I'm telling y'all, it's already been signed. They just ain't revealed it yet. A Pakistani court has extended former Prime Minister Imran Khan's protection from arrest until September 12th, more than a week after police filed terrorism charges against the popular opposition leader. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. 1 Peter 3.12 Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, Russia will respond if NATO bases appear in Finland and Sweden, NATO's newest allies. Then, there were two more blasts in Aleppo, Syria, two days ago. They were saying that it was other war ammunitions and stuff blowing up uh, from the other strikes in Aleppo and in Damascus airport areas. Um, the Damascus airport was barely hurt, and from what I understand, the Aleppo one, um, they pretty much already got it all fixed up again. Okay. Yeah. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. From the 23rd Psalm, obviously. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov's underlying concern that Moldova... Trans uh, Dniester region, which borders Ukraine, could be drawn into the Russia Ukraine conflict as he addresses Russian top foreign affairs school in Moscow. So now, what? He's going to go into Moldova as well. Unprecedented. And what's happening? In England or UK with the northern uh, train services every day almost. It, this news is coming out of the UK, so I'm assuming it's part of, you know, the United Kingdom, England, you know, in, in the areas, the Britons, you know, the northern railway every day now for a couple of weeks people's lives have been totally dismantled they are having long waits to get on trains to be able to go to work go to school go to the store whatever i'm sure it has stuff to do about control okay they say oh there's a problem with the track it's going to be you know 45 minutes to infinity time you know, you need to be on this other train and just go the shortest route around. We don't want you to go to this part of the territory. Really? Um, from two days ago, this was out of Israel. Dozens of pro protests at the string bridge against the justice, justice system and against injustice they claim was caused to Amiram bin Alil, 
who was convicted of murdering the uh, Devabsha family from the village of Duma. Okay. I'm not going to turn the sound up. But it got out of hand. And IDF does what they do, right? And there is a video of that, and I will show it. Because I don't believe that when you protest... you know, against your government for things that they are doing that is hurting the people and there's no justice in the land and that's the only way you have to voice because this was a silent, you know, protest. There was no fighting or anything until they came in and overtook them. Um... Then, after being evacuated three times in the last month, the IDF imposed a closed military area order on the Ramat Magron outpost. The order also prohibits the entry of construction materials, etc. Residents of the outpost, we tell Benny Gantz and everyone who decided to fight the Jewish settlement points, it won't help you. We don't intend to give up for a moment. These people have been living here for quite some time. And they keep getting pushed around and moved around to different places. Okay. I mean, it's just, it's happening everywhere. The tribulation force is going to be hell on wheels, I'm telling you right now. Praise God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ that we are not going to be here. Syria revealed the damage to the airports in Aleppo and Damascus and their quote, Israel is playing with fire and it will pay the price. Poland's government estimates the financial cost of World War II losses, and it wants $1.3 trillion in reparations. What? Francis Macroni defends his policy of keeping up a dialogue with Russia even after it invaded Ukraine, saying that Turkey should not be the only power talking to Moscow and preparations should already be made for a negotiated peace. Remember Daniel 7 and Ezekiel 38. A bulk carrier that collided with a liquefied natural gas tank tanker off of Gibraltar is leaking fuel oil. Yeah, into the ocean. <sighs> right off, it, well, it's a British territory. Our brother in Christ, ready or not, Jesus Christ is returning soon. Amen. Another brother, I will support Israel until death or the rapture, period. Be ready to be persecuted, Christians, for taking a biblical um, stance when it comes to Israel. That's right. That's right. And we stand for Israel for reasons 
that they don't know. And we know that. The time of Jacob's trouble is banging on the door. That means the wise bride is leaving. Amen. <laughs> Another sister. You cannot be a Christian and support gay marriage. You cannot be a Christian and support abortion. You cannot be a Christian and support transgenderism. You cannot be a Christian and support new age practices. If you call yourself a Christian and support any of these, repent. Agree. Palestinian media reports said Israeli forces entered the town of Yamun, and this was from uh, two days ago as well. Um near Janine and surrounded a home during a rare daytime raid. The president will only conclude a deal with Iran that he determines is in the national security interest of the U.S., a White House official tells Arab News. You know, we just bypass Congress, bypass the Senate, bypass we the people. We already know what he thinks about we the people. Yeah, he made that perfectly clear. Palestinian media reported an Islamic Jihad leader was arrested in Janine by Israel Special Forces, Israeli commandos. Okay. Bangladesh police shot dead a young activist and injured dozens more after firing on a demonstration protesters against power cuts and food price hikes. Just like Jesus said, brother would betray brother even unto death in the crimes against humanity on a global scale from those who own it all. You best believe the Lord Jesus Christ is going to take care of them. Yes, he is. His word says so. They're going to be running to the caves, running to their bunkers, yelling and screaming that the rocks would fall in on them to hide them from the face of the lamb. Yeah. Pakistan's armed forces rescued 2,000 people stranded by another, you know, the second wave of the rising floodwaters, okay? Then there was a Palestinian man killed in the West Bank after stabbing an Israeli soldier. An explosion rocked a key, this was from yesterday, a key oil refinery in Iran's southwestern city of Abadan. wonder how that happened. A huge bomb blast at one of the biggest mosques in western Afghanistan killed at least 18 people. Sri Lanka's deposed former president, uh, Gotabaya Rahapatska, is expected to end his self-imposed exile in Thailand and go back home. Argentina's president, Alberto Fernandez, says that the gun pointed at vice president, yeah, an attempted assassination attempt on Vice President Christina Kirchner did not fire despite being loaded and the man actually pulled the trigger.
back on that uh, mosque bombing in Afghanistan, updated uh, 18 people, prominent pro-Taliban cleric Mujib or Rama Ansari was killed and 23 wounded. In Saudi Arabia, yeah, listen to this. Well, you're going to see it because I'm going to show you. Girls in an orphanage organized a hunger strike in attempt to improve their poor living conditions. Dozens of security guards use violent force. and tasers to put a stop to the strike. Girls in an orphanage And they're going to be the future. Really? That makes my heart hurt. Renewed tribal clashes in Sudan. Southern Blue Nile State have killed seven people despite ceasefire agreements between rival groups following deadly violence weeks ago. Russia's Gazprom completely halts natural gas supply via Nord Stream 1, says oil leakage detected during maintenance. Yeah, I'm sure that's not it. A court in Myanmar has jailed a former British ambassador and her spouse for a year for violating immigration laws. Sources and media say prompting concern from rights activists at secretive trials under martial law. They call it military rule. That is martial law. And that secretive trials, that would be tribunals. That's what's coming for a Christ-rejecting world. And I know I have family that's not leaving. They're not watching. And I know you do too. But Jesus is coming for us. And I can hardly wait. But Jesus looked at them and said, Then what is this statement that has been written? A stone which the builders rejected. This has become the chief cornerstone. Luke 20 verse 17. Christ Jesus is the cornerstone, the chief cornerstone, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Savior of the world for all who come to him in faith. The U.S. Navy says Iran has once again briefly seized another 
American drone before letting it go. Tehran said it was two drones before they released them. So who knows? One, two, what does it matter at this point? I think they're just playing their own little stupid war games out there. Somalia's Al-Shabaab attacks a town in central Somalia. Yeah. Nigeria, 49 killed as Super Takana bombs Boko Haram terrorists in Sambiza. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and saith the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Revelation 1.8 Christ Jesus is the Lord, and apart from him there is none other. And then this came out. John Podesto, Mr. Pedophilia himself, Mr. Spirit Cooking, has now, you remember him, right? The creepy, evil, wicked little man who was uh, HRC's uh, Clinton. It was her manager when she was running for POTUS. He will be the House advisor, the senior White House advisor for clean energy. He is a wicked, evil man. Britons to be banned from cooking until 8 o'clock and pubs only open until 9 p.m. People will be banned from using washing machines, dishwashers, and ovens from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Pubs will turn off their lights at 2100 and last orders will be taken at 2030. Oh, here's the crazy plane guy. Yeah, from Tupelo. He was going to run it into a Wally World. And this, remember how in the last video I told you that it was all squirrely and everything? The aviation people. This was his track. Before he landed in a field. Okay. He should be arrested for domestic terrorism. Then, Iran arrested 12 members of the Baha'i religion. Quote, they were trained in Israel and created a spy network. What do you think Iran's going to do with them? Twelve hours ago, explosion on the main street. An explosive device was attached to a car in Araba. Israel. And... Here is Turkey's warship, Port of Hoffa. 
now owned by India. Fifty-three migrants swept away while trying to cross the river on the U.S.-Mexico border near Eagle Pass, Texas. Eight dead, eight missing, and some of those were actually arrested. They were um, known gang members and... Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah. A Tennessee interstate. This happened, uh, last week, earlier in the week. Um, was drowned in Alfredo sauce when a tractor trailer hit a retaining wall. Flinging cases of Alfredo sauce across several lanes of traffic. Turkey's Erdogan threatens Greece with new slaughter. Like in 1922, if it doesn't bow to his whims, he warned again with the first military strike without warning, quote, one night we can come suddenly on you. And I had to share this. This isn't what it looked like, but you get what it is. Militia members from Ethiopia Second largest ethnic group have killed dozens of people and torched and looted their homes in an attack on a town in the country's um, restless uh, Aromia region, some of the survivors tell the news. An estimated 70,000 people protest in Prague. This was seven hours ago. Against the Czech government calling on the ruling coalition to do more to control the soaring energy prices and voicing opposition to the EU and NATO. We talked about California's nonsense in the last one. The leader of Myanmar's military junta, which is martial law, will travel to Russia for economic talks. And that's what I have for you. I know it's a long one, but I love you guys. This is current. It's breaking. It's converging like never before. Look up. I'll see you at home. Maranatha.